Hey guys, welcome to today's Gypsy Jazz Bootcamp Etude. It's on Django's really cool tune, Deuce Ambiance. Uh, so let's get started with this etude number one. Um, I am going to make a separate video just for the chords and just for the melody, which I feel is very important to learn the tune and also the chord progression. So I'm not going to really go into it too much. I might just talk a little bit about the harmony, um, about what I'm thinking. Um, and again, this PDF is available on my Patreon site. So uh, the first four bars, even though the chords are kind of switching pretty quickly, G minor, D7, G minor, F slash A, B flat 6, B dim, C minor. Even though there's a lot of chords that the rhythm player usually is playing, um, and again, this is all on, on the chord sheet in the Patreon page, I'm just thinking uh, G minor for four bars, essentially, with a G7 chord on the fourth measure leading us to C minor. So basically, I'm thinking this, G minor, G7, C minor. Seven, D7, and then back to the repeat. And that A flat 7 to the D7 is just tritone substitution, so it's really just D7. Uh, but of course, the A flat sounds pretty cool. It creates a D7 flat 9, um, flat 5 sound. Okay, so um, here is the first four bars of the A2. Number one, we have this G minor triad we are embellishing. And again, I'm just thinking G minor. I'm not following the changes in this A2. Number two will be a little bit more to the chord changes. So we have this. And then right here I'm putting a B natural, and that's the leading tone to the C minor. So that's where I'm thinking the G7. So again, it's one, two, three, four. Into the C minor. Okay, that's measure five there. And now on the C minor, I'm just targeting the C minor triad. That was it, that was one measure. Back to G minor. A flat and D. Okay, so again, I'm just kind of targeting uh, the chords there. That part, I, I do like to follow the chords. And this is the fun part of it. You can see it's kind of a simple exercise, this lower neighbor tone. That's very Django. Again, these etudes also, especially this one, and number one, I usually try to have pretty. Um, kind of beginner intermediate friendly. These are just really important, you know, foundations. It's not anything too fancy, but I think it's great at all levels to be able to do this. So um, let's do all eight measures through that. One, two, three, four. G minor, lower neighbor, B leading tone, C minor, G minor, A flat, D. Okay, now we're at measure nine. And it's the repeat of the chord changes there, G minor. And I'm doing this in closure technique. Now it's all just thinking this, G minor arpeggio. And I think that's really important to stop here for a second. And just make sure if you, you know, instead of like your eyes glued to the tabs, which, uh, you know, is not, it's a good idea to be looking at it. But, um, you know, the concept is, embellishing around G minor, lower neighbor and upper neighbor, and it's a really sweet pattern, it's symmetrical. Okay, that's all on a G minor 6 chord there. Um, and we want to just be able to move this around C minor. Actually, the B section. You'll hear me move that to A flat minor. We'll get there in a second. Um, so again, these are licks that you can use all over this song um, and any other song. Minor swing, go back to other songs. So here's the B, or not here the B section yet. Here are the second uh, measure nine through 16. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna do a B diminished arpeggio that's right on a G7 chord. Into the C minor, okay. So that diminished was this diagonal arpeggio. C minor, G 
minor, then this little harmonic minor scale lick. And that was just on that D7, A flat, D7, G. Very Django. Uh, so that is measure 1 through 16. Again, you can slow down this video or look at the PDF that is on my Patreon page. Okay, the B section now it moves up a half step to A flat minor 6, and I'm doing the same type of embellishment. Here I'm just kind of playing with the rhythm, uh, creating some syncopation using anticipation. <laughs> And that was again the A flat minor, just right what we did on the G minor here, <laughs> but just now going ascending more and using this rhythm one and two and. And notice the little connector lick from the A flat minor to the A minor, which by the way goes up to A minor six up a half step. Little cool chromatic usage there. And then once we arrive on the A minor 6, I'm doing this. Okay, so these are all coming back, these little licks. Then a um, little chromatic triplet. And that leads us now to the last eight bars. And that was, of course, our diminished run on, the, on, on this part. From that F7, E7, E flat. D flat to D7, that little cool chromatic uh, fill there, uh, dominant chords. I'm just thinking one chord, D7. So that's where I went. And then this little lick, one. And that's, you know, the minor swing ending lick there. I use it all the time as a connector. Okay, so now let's go on to the last eight bars of the tune. Now I'm kind of doing this cliche chromatic movement. You know what I'm talking about. I hope you have that in your uh, repertoire. You might hear it as a sweet pick lick, but I was just doing this. And it's going from a G minor, G minor major seven, G minor seven, G minor six. Okay, great, you know, that's Michelle. That could be uh, Blue Sky, Stairway to Heaven, so many great songs. Use that as that kind of walk down cliche, of course. Um, so, again, that's all over this chord progression. So, again, that just, uh, I'm showing you that I'm just thinking G minor for those four bars, essentially. Then I morph it to diminish on the last measure there as a leading tone into the C minor little sequence. Then on the C minor chord, uh, I'm going to do the same kind of um, arpeggio. I'm just doing it here on the second string, a little bit more challenging fingering-wise. Little G minor blues lick. And then I'm just using some octaves here. And now it's a G minor major 7 just to end the song. Of course, if you're going to do a turnaround chord there, D7 sharp 9, um, but on that blues lick, and then we're back to the top there. So on that C minor, just to backtrack just a little bit here, then this G minor blues lick, then the same idea restated with octaves, uh, some trills of the harmonic minor scale, and then the 5 chord if you're going to go back to the top. So, um, and that harmonic minor was over the A flat, D7, G minor, and I'm just thinking G harmonic minor scalar. Well, actually, blues lick first. And there you go. There is etude number one for Du Ambiance. Um, you can get the whole lesson package via my Patreon site, where you can just you know become a subscriber and you can have access to. The melody, the chords, uh, my A2 number one, A2 number two, uh, there might be an A2 number three in the future, but that's all available on the Patreon page. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time at the Gypsy Jazz Bootcamp. One, two, one, two, three, four.